Hello my friends, I'm Rachel Archelaus and today we're going to talk about what it is actually like to be psychic and Lana Wilson's documentary that premiered at Sundance this year, Look Into My Eyes, which I was so nervous to see <laughs> because it is about psychics. All right, well, if you don't know me, I have been psychic my entire life. I've always seen people on the other side. When my relatives would die, I would kind of get to see them more because I was a kid. I wouldn't be able to go to their house on my own, but when they died, they could just come right to my bedroom and we could chat. I have been translating for my family my whole life. When people would die, they would show up to family gatherings and I would tell them what was going on and where they were sitting. I would do readings for my friends in high school. And then once I was in my early 20s, I started being a professional psychic. I'm still a professional psychic. I just roll it into my coaching work and the other work that I do. And I don't just do sessions anymore. But from time to time I do, and it is really, really amazing and fun. I was also a professional psychic medium for a while and decided that's just not for me. It's very highly emotional and I just didn't want to do it. Sometimes you can do things, just doesn't mean you should do things. So I have been in this game a long time. I have been going through life, having the experience of being psychic and of seeing things that most people don't see. And honestly, feeling like I shouldn't exist because there's no quote scientific proof that I can do what I do. I thought it was so interesting to watch Lana's documentary where she follows a group, an unrelated group of psychics around New York City. We see where they live, what their typical sessions are like, what their specialties are. She shows us their amazing sessions where they're right on the money and you're like, oh my God, no one could ever know that. And she also shows where the psychics are less confident and less spot on. And I love that because that's, that's the truth. That's real. Now, I was really excited about this because I've followed her career for quite a while now. I saw her premiere of Miss Americana, which is her documentary about Taylor Swift a couple years ago at Sundance. And then I watched a talk that she gave where she was like, yeah, well, halfway through, you're like, something happens and we're not sure then if it's real or does it matter? And so I was going in thinking, oh no, is this just going to be another thing trying to portray that psychics aren't real? Like, where did she get these psychics? So can't she get real psychics to be in her documentary? But I'm really glad I went because what happened was that she asked the psychics, do you believe what you're saying is true? And they were like, I don't know. You know, no, I don't believe everything I say. And I can see it now so much more clearly, like from an outsider perspective, that means you are not telling the truth. That means you are not a real psychic, or maybe there is no such thing as a real psychic and you're just making this up. I get it, I get it. But as someone who has been psychic my whole life, I never quite understood it before. Like I never understood how they would have no idea what that means. But let me tell you folks, psychic is subtle. It's subtle. And when I'm doing a reading for someone or even myself, the image or feeling or smell is so subtle. And it's like, you don't know where it's coming from. There's no like calling card. There's no written piece of paper that you can hold and read. It's fast. It's subtle. It is not in bright lights, it's not hitting you over the head usually. And so you are going out on a total limb and saying, um, okay, I'm seeing a dog bowl and it was moved to a new location and put on a riser. This is something that happened in a reading I did a couple months ago. Like 
I just couldn't move on in the reading until I said that. That is how it felt. But did I see the scene perfectly? Like it was in a magazine? Did I see like a foyer and a dog bowl and a, and then in a new location? No, I felt very vaguely. Like you would not even be able to, you probably would just see fuzz where I'm seeing a dog bowl. And I just had to say it because that's what I felt. But I didn't know where that was going. I didn't know if that was true. I didn't, there's nothing for me to believe or not believe because it's not my information. The best thing I can say about the experience of being a psychic is that you're literally just a messenger. I'm not making any of this up. I'm not creating the thought. I'm not creating the picture. I am I'm putting my antenna up to be a receiver and I get what I get. It's like you, I don't know how old any of you are, but like you used to be able to sort of like put like the television antenna in like different ways and like try to get the screen to not just be fuzz. And sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And like you have no control over what you're going to see on that screen. That is what it is like. And it's even in fuzz. It is so subtle. It's so subtle. It's like if someone you don't know whispered to you from outside of the room and you're hearing just the fine essence of it and that is what you're relating to your client. So I totally get it when someone says like, I don't believe anything I say or I'm not sure if what I'm saying is real. That's because we don't, but that's not our job. Our job is just to be a clear receiver and to say what we get. That's it. And so as someone who channels an alien being, I have the same process. And, you know, I've grown up like this and I've asked myself this question so many times. Am I real? Am I making this up? Is this imaginary? The good thing is I have done so many psychic readings and gotten such specific information for people that there would be absolutely no way in hell that I was making it up or that it was by chance. No way. And so I've just proven to myself over time, and that's what they say in the film as well, like, you don't know, you're so unconfident until you get the proof, which is true. But like channeling an alien, let's say, she says she exists on a planet, I have done uh, like a hypnosis session before she even wanted to come forward. I saw her on her planet. So those things kind of match up. She's come to me and say things and I'm a reliable channel. You know, I have been my whole life. So that adds up. But in terms of like, could I say hard and fast that this is a being you could go visit in the Pleiades and like have a conversation with? I don't know. I don't know. You know, so that it's not about that in the psychic world. It's not about having proof beyond belief. Personally, it's about trusting your energy, trusting that you have put yourself in the vibrational place to receive clearly. It's about being as open and connected a vessel as you can be. It's about having no biases if possible. It's about just simply showing up, putting up your antenna and seeing what you get, knowing that you've done the pre-work of being as clear a channel as you can possibly be. And that's what separates the amazing psychics from the not so amazing psychics. Because not all psychic readings I've had have been amazing. You know, that's okay. There's really good plumbers and there's mediocre plumbers, right? It's no different in the psychic world. It's also no different that, you know, people could take advantage of this subtlety and decide that they want to take advantage of people and claim to be a psychic. But that's not the fault of psychics everywhere, okay? That is a bad apple in a good barrel, right? Like, we can't hold psychics accountable for all the bad seeds in the world. That's just not their fault. So I hope that you all go see Lana's film, her documentary. I hope it's available somewhere soon. It's really wonderful. I am not one who likes to get emotional during 
any kind of like television or movie. I just don't like being emotionally manipulated in a story. I know it's so weird because I'm also a screenwriter, but like I was crying like a baby during some of the parts of the film. It's so moving. It's so emotional. And it just shows that to be a psychic is to be involved with people. It's to care about people. It is to want the best for people. And it it is such a hard job in a sense because you're really putting yourself out there. Like you're literally not knowing what you're getting is true. You're, I think the, the film opens with someone saying like, I'm getting shrimp. Like shrimp, does shrimp mean anything to you? And it like meant so much to the person, the client. And it's like, that is what it is like. You are just so surrendered to the moment, to your information. And that's all you can be. That's it. That's the job. It's really, it's a really wonderful film. It shows a lot of nuance and depth. And I hope you go see it wherever it's available. And I hope you have a more open mind about psychics as well. And that it's not about someone having access to like a database and a Google that you don't have. You have access to, it's about training yourself into receiving the subtlety that is the uh, psychic information that's available. So if you want more info on that, look around my channel. I have a lot of tutorials and thank you. I hope you come again, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.